my channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm so excited because I have another collab for you guys. Today I'm collabing with Emily Hanhan here on YouTube. She messaged me and was like, hey, I'd love to collab with you during Christmas. And her idea was to create our own basically like dream gift sets, if you will. If you guys haven't seen Emily's channel, I'm obviously leaving her link down below. Definitely go check her out. She does a ton of really fun, like colorful looks. I love seeing all the color combinations that she does. It's always really inspiring to see. And also if you like like conversations, she does a lot of live chats. I think you'd really enjoy her channel. So definitely go check her out and go give her some love. So as we were kind of like brainstorming of different sets, um, I kind of went off on my own trip. I'm not gonna lie. So Emily, I hope I do your uh, idea justice, honestly. So I'm gonna paint you a picture of my gift set because it's a little bit weird. Like, mm, I, I don't know if I'm just like being insecure or weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's like so strange, but my kind of idea for everything in here was new discoveries, like new to me brands in 2020, things that I hadn't tried before, but I did this year, kind of like this time capsule of products I was trying out and testing. And basically I thought like it would be cool to give this discovery set to one of you guys or like have it as a curated box almost, because let's be real, the stuff that I have to show you guys, like as a set, first off, the set would probably be kind of expensive. Like I I don't even know how that like it doesn't actually work as a set in a lot of ways it really does work better as like a box you could buy <laughs> i mean but you could like argue that a box is a set I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was like this time capsule of makeup that I tried in 2020. And I loved the idea that someone who was interested in seeing what I was trying and wanted to see what their opinions on that new makeup would be, could buy this box and then be able to try it themselves and get their own opinions on a lot of the stuff I'm talking about or have talked about this year. I also feel like this set could be titled something like the only good things in 2020 or like the good things that happened to me in 2020 all condensed down into a little makeup set. But anyway, I'm, I have like a long intro. I feel like I'm explaining so much without actually even getting into it. But definitely go check out Emily's video because her gift set ideas were all about indie makeup and then one was more colorful and bold and then one was more neutral but still like sparkly. So if you want to get some good indie recommendations, again, check that video out. I can't wait to see it myself. Okay, so my set, <laughs> my box, my basically favorites video of stuff has 10 different products and I feel like they pair semi well together. So I was was happy about that and they definitely have this like through theme of sparkle <laughs> sparkles. <laughs> it honestly really was the year of sparkles for me. <laughs> this year, 2020, I needed something shiny to just like keep my spirits high. So let's start with one of my favorites. Let's start with highlighters. I think both these highlighters would pair so well together. This highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury is amazing. I really have been enjoying it. It's the Pillow Talk Beauty Wand and there are a few different colors, but there's something about this product that I put the tiniest bit of this on my cheeks and I feel like it just looks so glowy, it's so simple. I blend it out with my sponge and it gives such a wet shine look without being like super particly sparkly. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't have all those little shimmer particles. It's like a very classy wet shine look and I've just really, really been enjoying it. I've been loving this as like a layering product. So that's kind of what I do, but it looks beautiful on its own. It's seriously a really great product. I think I'd be okay if this didn't have like the sponge tip exactly like this, but overall, I mean, I can't deny that this is like a really great product. I really have been enjoying it. So this is like a new to me brand. I hadn't tried anything Charlotte Tilbury until this year and this was definitely one of the standouts. For powder highlighter, which this is what I use today to kind of top over that, this is the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. And you guys, seriously, I slept way too long on this freaking product. I'm not sure if I had tried anything Pixie until I bought this. I don't think I had. It was always one of those brands that I felt like was too expensive for the drugstore. And if I'm gonna like go more expensive with makeup, I'm just gonna buy from Sephora. So I feel like that kind of middle ground price point kind of kept me away from the brand. But my goodness, this is so amazing. This just looks so, so glowy. Can you see my stained hand? 
dude, you guys, the other day, swatching stuff just stained me. Just got me good, marked for life. Anyway, this is something that for the $18, I think it's so worth it. I feel like it performs so high end. And these products, I think they all have this running theme of things that I was like, you know, something was holding me back from trying these brands or exploring these brands more. And I feel like each of these products kind of represents that feeling of joy that I have, that I actually like did it, like, you know, went past the edge, actually bought the item that I've been pining after or whatever it is. And this was just amazing. I really, really love it. So I only put two highlighters in. I'm pretty proud about that. It's been the year of like, again, sparkles and highlighters for me. All right, before we get into the mass of eyeshadows, because you guys all know those are my favorite thing ever, let's talk about two more cheek products. I have another cream here, and this is another newer product to me. I have tried Fenty before this product, but this was like a new release in 2020. There was no way I could try this product before 2020. And honestly, it was something that I didn't even think I would try this year. I kind of on a whim bought the Fenty set with the diamond balm, and there was also a lip gloss in it. And I am so glad that I did. This blush, this is the Fenty Glow Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush, and it is so beautiful. I love this potted product. I love the consistency. I love the way that my sponge goes in here and like applies the product. It's not too thick. It's not too thin and like greasy. I feel like you can do something kind of light or you can really get in there and build it up. It's just so perfect. And I also feel like this product as well as the next product I'm going to talk about really encapsulate what I've been doing for 2020 when it comes to my cheeks. This specific color is so perfect for me and that like everyday blush look that I want. So that's why I wanted to put this in, but in my set, it would definitely be like an option. You could choose which of these cream blushes that you like, because although this is like perfect for me, if you want to do something brighter, if you needed something deeper, you wanted something more pink, less neutral. Um, I know Fenty has all those options as well. So I would want this to be something you could switch out the right one because I just love the formula that much. I also love how small the compact is. Like I don't feel like it's this big, huge amount of cream blush. And I love that about it. It's just such a good one. Another one that I have that feeling of like, Ooh, I am so glad I didn't wait. I didn't wait, 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 and I bought it. It's really, really great. Next for powder blush, this one from Vivid is just really, once again, for me, a perfect everyday kind of blush drapey look. I can pair it over all the products, basically, I just mentioned. So like, if you were to see me do this, I would have the cream blush, then I do the cream highlighter, then I'd layer it with this blush, which that highlighter, you can still see it through even when you powder it down. And then I'd go in with the pixie highlight. Like, that's literally what I did today. <laughs> on my face. But anyway, this from Vivid, this is a shade crossover. They have some brighter blushes once again. I've just been so impressed with Vivid as a brand. It's like one of the more K-beauty brands that I feel like is doing something a little bit more maybe adventurous or kind of fun. I don't know, I just like them. I just like them a lot. I'm very intrigued by the brand. But specifically, crossover is just that perfect everyday blush, not only in color for me, but also I love the formula because it's not overly pigmented. It's nice and buildable so I can you know swirl my brush in build it up to my desired intensity level but then also I love that this has this kind of satin sheen to it so it's not a complete matte and that's definitely my preferred blush formula as well but this would also be something that I would want you to be able to pick your shade all right are you guys ready for the eyeshadows <laughs> This is part of the reason that it kind of doesn't work as a set. It's like, it's not like a full face by any means. I have literally no lip products to show you because I didn't try anything new from brands that I felt like I wanted to even put in here. Like, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy the video nonetheless. I'm really trying. So let's talk about a large, like pre-made palette. This is the first time I tried Glam Light this year and I was really excited about it and really loved the formula. So this is the Ice Cream Dream Palette. This is what it looks like. And honestly, I feel like for my colorful needs, this has everything everything I could ever want. We have like the nice pinks, we have the pastels. There are quite a few of these like coppery shades. I don't think there needed to be that many in here, but I will say the formulas on them are slightly different. Some are more shimmery and then others are more of like a foiled metallic. Even this French vanilla shade, um, which I like to use my finger with, is really nice and flaky and can be this nice like pop of highlight on the inner corner or on the brow bone as I'm kind of blending out. I've just been really impressed by the formula and 
honestly, for a large palette, this has just been one of the best all-in-one type palettes that I've gotten in a really long time, which is partly because I'm into smaller palettes, but this one definitely just has so much variety for me. I really like it. I love the mirror. I even do like the front of this palette. Like, this just is such a vibe that I'm down with. Um, and I like that it's fun and playful while still being like more functional than some of the other palettes from Glam Light. So this would be in here. I know. <laughs> the weirdest set, uh, but that kind of makes sense for me. Next, I wanted to talk about this little mini eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. And this palette kind of subs in as like an overall representation of luxury eyeshadow formulas. This year was the year that I kind of understood luxury eyeshadow formulas. You guys know me, I like something bright or sparkly. And I will say, as the year has come to a close, kind of halfway through the year, I have been enjoying more neutral looks. I just have been. I still love a good level of like sparkle, but overall, I definitely just feel so pretty in something neutral. And I feel like luxury eyeshadows help with that as well. Like even the satins, things that look kind of boring in a luxury formula can just look so stunning. So absolutely beautiful. I've just really come to appreciate the beauty of them this year. And so I definitely wanted that represented in my kind of time capsule of products I was trying. This little mini Natasha Denona palette, um, Hannah actually gave me Hannah Louise Poston for my birthday, the beginning of the year before everything was like upside down and topsy-turvy. And this was the first time I had tried Natasha Denona's formula since I had the Lila palette. Um, and back then I didn't like that palette and I really wonder if I would like it more now. Like my tastes have changed that much. And so with this, I've tried Charlotte Tilbury's formula, I've tried more Natasha Denona, and I've really just come to appreciate it this year. That's what this is in here for. I do really love the mini palettes from Natasha Denona. I think they're a really great value if you are wanting to give this formula a try. This I wanted to put in my time capsule. I'm gonna finish these kind of pre-made palettes up with the Rowan Quad. I picked this up from Sephora this year. They were doing basically 30% off. These normally retail for 42, but I got it for 29, which was amazing. And I picked up the 1111 Quad, which was the one I had my eye on. I love that this had warm tones, but also had that gray so I had this cool tone in it as well and I just really love like these kind of peachy uh, tones on me like they're not too warm in here is what I really liked about it and so far I've really been loving it It is new, but I wanted to throw this in these aren't like a hundred percent like tried and true favorites This is definitely the example of like what I explored in the world of makeup this year and Rowan was one of them I'd been wanting to try Rowan for a while again I've seen Hannah talk about Rowan so much and so I finally bit the bullet and did it and I really have been enjoying it um, Something that's kind of interesting about these shadows to me is that they're quite stiff and I feel like that lends themselves to really layering quite well so you could really build up a very textured shadow. I talk about textures a lot when it comes to my eyeshadows but these definitely show texture in a a more substantial way than a lot of my other even kind of gritty shades. These like build upon themselves. And so I think that makes them just so unique. I love how classy and luxurious this is. It's such a different feel from the sparkles that I have that are more like indie and like single shadows. And I've just enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I'm glad I got it at the price I did, but this would definitely be an option and I would want it to be either one of the quads. There's three quads out there, so um, I would want it to have that option of you picking the one you wanted. Same with the Natasha Denona Mini. I'd probably have it where you pick the one you want. If I can make it customizable, I'll make anything I can customizable. Next, we have three different single shadow type products. The next one is like an individual shadow that isn't like a pan of eyeshadow. This is from Holika Holika. I got this from YesStyle this year, and honestly, this is just this most stunning thing ever. If I could share this with the world, I'm going to every chance I can. This specifically is Moon Flush. I have Rose Flush, and I just ordered the two other ones because they came back in stock on Yes Style. I was like, hell yeah, they're on stock. I'm gonna get them all. So I did. I got the other two. So those are coming to me. I'll let you know if they're just as good. This is what's basically all over my eyes. I used the Rowan uh, gray shadow as like a base. I used the Natasha Denona mattes, like the lighter one and the deeper one as transitions and outer corners. This is all over my lid, over that base of the Rowan. And it's just so freaking stunning. Such a beautiful, taupey, kind of a 
aluminum type shade. It's not too gray though. There is this like brown to it instead of it being too gray or silver. And I just love it. It is hard to find this sparkly of an eyeshadow I feel like from brands that aren't indie. And so this has just been so amazing. And this is like, this brings the shine. It's not like those other kind of topper shades from like Korean brands. This is like full blown sparkle. Like you can get pretty opaque coverage if you want from this. You can make it a little less opaque depending on what you want. This brings the sparkle. Another newer product to me, but again, it's like these are the brands I was pining after and then like Black Friday hit and I like, struck. I struck and Water Dream from Nabla is just so stunning. It's like a shade I want to just like tap over everything. So like it's kind of this finishing veil for me. You know I have like a finishing powder. That's what this is but for my eye looks to add sparkle. I love how this shines and I love that the base on it for me as I use it tends to go a little bit more transparent and I find that makes it so much more wearable and again like I can tap it over everything and just kind of add that pizzazz. Definitely just the Nabla shadow in general um, were something I wanted to explore this year. I don't think I had tried Nabla until I got the highlighter earlier this year. So it was the first time this year trying Nabla in the first place, but the first time definitely trying the shadows. And the last eyeshadow I wanna talk about, this should come as no surprise, honestly, and that is the JD Glow shadows. The Galaxy shadows are so amazing. Now, not all of them are created equal, so there is that. Also, they don't smell. Someone asked me that, but I don't have mine. Mine don't smell like any Thing, like no perfume, no anything type of scent. I have been so obsessed with these shadows. You guys all know Unexpected. This one here is like <sighs> so good. Every one of you who has bought it and like commented have said you've been obsessed with it as well. So I'm so glad you love it. I try not to recommend products lightheartedly, but that shadow and the Holika Holika shadow, those are the two this year that I'm like, I just don't think you'll be disappointed. I really don't. <laughs> anyway, I definitely would want one of the JD Glow Galaxy shadows in here. Like I said, Unexpected is one of my favorites. Good God is another one that's just so beautiful. Um, but really, I feel like so many of these, if you decide to pick these up, like you're gonna probably love them. And I would want someone to be able to pick the shade that really works for them. Like such an awesome brand. I feel like the price is pretty good. It's $7.50 for a shadow. You can find deals on them. And I love that they ship really fast to get this collection to where it's at. I've made four separate orders and each one of them has come super fast. Even the one I made on Black Friday, which I can only assume they had quite a large influx of orders. It came really fast. They come very secure. I just think it's a really solid brand. One of the best discoveries this year. And if I could help other people discover JD Glow, I would be so excited with this kit. Okay, so that's my video. <laughs> I hope that I somehow shoehorned um, these products into this like prompt of a video. I think I did okay. I think it's, it's decent. <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed hearing some of my thoughts about the new discoveries, the new brands, kind of this 2020 time capsule of makeup that was intriguing me this year, that I tried for the first time this year, that got me excited. Things that I feel like were really close to my style of makeup as well. Thank you so much to Emily for messaging me and asking me to collab on this video. Again, I hope I did it enough justice. I can't wait to check your video out and definitely make sure to go check her out. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Vlogmas, funny, funny. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>